epic product or just another marketing gimmick? Let's talk about the FCS Freedom Helix Leash. Hi guys, Chris from Stoke for Travel here. Welcome back to the channel. And before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any video goodness. Now today we're gonna to be doing a bit of a kit review of the new Freedom Helix Leash by FCS, uh, which is the follow up to the FCS Freedom Leash. Uh, if you've read my blog before, you'll know that the original FCS Freedom Leash was one of my least favorite surf products ever. I absolutely hated it. Um, I gave, it looked like an awesome product. I decided to give it a go and I managed to snap two of them in three months. Um, and considering the price tag on them, that's really not good. Um, I've only ever surfed four leashes in 15 years of surfing and to snap two of those in three months meant I just completely vetoed it. Can't recommend it to anyone. Uh, but FCS have just launched the new Freedom Helix Leash, uh, which is the follow-up. Uh, so I've decided to give it a go, uh, put my biases aside on the original, and see whether they fixed all the issues from the original and actually made a really good product. Um, so if you're keen to see whether it's worth buying, let's jump straight in. So first things first, let's run through a bit of the tech specs and the uh, specifications of the FCS Freedom Helix Leash. And uh, now the first thing you're gonna notice is this new Helix design, which runs throughout the entire leash. Um, you can see it pretty well in this blue one as well. And um, this is designed to absorb shock and also strengthen the leash in general. So this is the core feature of the FCS Freedom Helix Leash. Um, the other thing that they've done with the cord itself is they've moved away from polyurethane and they're now using a more corner-based bioresin. Uh, so a little bit more eco-friendly, which is always a step in the right direction. Um, now the final thing they've done with the cord is it's now also got a textured surface, something to do with fluid dynamics. Personally, for the average everyday surfer, I don't think you're really gonna notice a difference. I certainly didn't, uh, but it's one of the other features that they flagged up in their tech specs for this new leash. Uh, when it comes to the cuff, uh, more slimline cuff than the original. Uh, you've got the silicon inlay there, um, which makes it anti-slip, which is always really good. Two millimeter padding and also a low profile pull tab. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in a bit as well, because that's a little bit of a negative for me, uh, but that is a now new low profile pull tab. Um, they've now also reinforced the horn on the leash as well, which is this bit here where the main bit of the cuff meets the cord. Now for me, this was a massive weak point on the original and the fact that they've reinforced it, made it a lot more flexible, has definitely kind of sorted a lot of the issues I have with the original Freedom, uh, Freedom Leash. Uh, the other thing as well, in terms of thickness, um, they've now moved to a 6.5 millimeter cord on the all round leash. Uh, so they've made it a little bit thicker than usual, which obviously makes it a little bit stronger as well. So that's always a move in the right direction. Uh, so yeah, those are the main key specifications of the new FCS Freedom Helix Leash. And of course, the main thing with any surf leash is what is it like to actually surf with it? Well, the FCS Freedom Helix Leash is actually a super comfortable leash to surf with. Um, I've tested it out in a huge range of conditions from small grovelly waves right through to punchy overhead surf and it's handled everything I can throw at it. Still in one piece, still feels really solid and there's nothing on that kind of safety side of things that I'd really flag up like the original one. Um, so I've got no qualms in recommending it as a safe, solid, reliable leash. Uh, in terms of feedback on how it feels when you're paddling around and surfing, um, that two millimeter padded cuffs really comfortable and the anti-slip silicon grip definitely keeps it in one place on your ankle. A uh, couple of things I have picked up on though, um, that new slimline pull tab, um, great for, you know, nice and easy to use on the beach when you're getting it on and off, nice and slimline and out of the way. The only thing I would say is when you're in the water, it can be hard to locate and pull off. Um, now for everyday surfer, not usually an issue, but I have been in some situations in say Indonesia, the Mentawise, where like my leash has got caught on a bit of reef. Now, obviously, because that's quite slimline, it's a little bit more difficult to get your finger under. So there's some potential issues with that. If you were kind of being pulled one way, your board was being pulled the other, you were fighting against the water and needed to pull it off in an emergency, it's not as easy to rip and uh, kind of rip off your leg. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind if you are traveling with this and surfing kind of bigger waves or places with rocks and reef and things like that. Uh, the other thing to point out is this new reinforced horn. It's obviously got rid of the kind of weak point of the original FCS Freedom Leash. Uh, but the thing is, it's actually quite a large bit of plastic sticking out of your ankle. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, especially in comparison to something like my Creatures of Leisure Reliance Pro Leash, uh, which is my go-to leash in most conditions. So that obviously sticks quite far out of your ankle while you're paddling around. 
So in one respect, that's great because it obviously keeps the rest of the leash well out of the way, but it just feels a bit like awkward and just that little bit too large and kind of cumbersome. Um, so that's the other thing I'd like to point out on that. You do get used to it, but you know, for a lot of people, if you're used to, used to quite a slim line leash, that is gonna be something you are gonna notice. Uh, overall though, reliable leash, solid leash, comfortable leash. Um, so in terms of it, you know, having any massive negatives, it doesn't, it's a great leash to surf with and yeah, super comfortable. So now let's talk pricing. So the FCS Freedom Helix leash has jumped straight in with the title of most expensive leash on the market. And the all rounder version starts at 74.95 Australian dollars. Uh, so it's not a cheap investment. Just to put that into perspective, you can pick up kind of a basic leash from someone like FK Surf from about $29.95 Australian dollars, or the Creatures of Leisure Reliance Pro, which is my other go-to leash, is $59.95, and that's the top-end leash from Creatures of Leisure. So what you've kind of got to figure out when you're looking at buying the FCS Freedom Helix is, is it worth 50% more than the most budget option, or 25% more than a Creatures of Leisure leash? Uh, personally, for me, I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna stick with the Creatures of Leisure Reliance Pro as my go-to shortboarding leash. Um, but obviously, if you do have the money to spend, you do want the latest tech, you do like all the kind of marketing specs that go with the FCS Freedom Helix leash, then you are gonna get a solid, reliable leash. For me at the moment though, it isn't really justifying that extra bit of uh, cash. And I feel like they've kind of over-engineered something that's at its core, a pretty simple piece of kit. Um, and you are paying for those kind of marketing gimmicks more than actual evolution of a leash and things that actually make a difference to the everyday surfer. So what are my final thoughts on the FCS Freedom Helix Leash? Well, I'm always one for innovation and progression, but I'm not too sure how much FCS are actually moving the market forward with this product. Uh, for me, a lot of the big corporate surf brands these days, FCS included, um, use innovation more as marketing and a way of justifying price point than anything else. Don't get me wrong, the SES Freedom Helix leash is a solid leash. It's comfortable, it's reliable, and you're gonna be able to surf really well with it. It's not gonna necessarily improve your surfing, but it's gonna keep you safe, secure, and it's gonna be comfortable to surf with. Whether you can justify that extra price tag at $79.95 uh, for the tech specs and the added features, it's gonna definitely come down to your personal finances and how big your wallet is. For me though, I feel like I can't really justify the extra spend to jump up that extra 25% from the Creatures of Leisure, so I'm gonna stick with them. But yeah, if you do have the money, still a solid investment. And there you have it guys, that's my full review of the FCS Freedom Helix Leash. Um, if you do wanna check out any more of my reviews and guides, check out the links in the description below. And of course, check out the rest of my YouTube channel as well. That's it for this week guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.